Pocket Coaching with Katie. Pocket Coaching with Katie. Hi, it's Katie Cannon, health, lifestyle and fitness, business coach. Pocket Coaching. Why do we love Pocket Coaching so much? That little bit of snippet, that little bit of coaching in your pocket to make your business survive, thrive, grow to the next level. So today I'm talking all about excuses. We all have them. It's just whether or not you listen to them, you think about them and you throw them out or you think about them all day till they're like Ugh, drowning you and you just can't do anything because your bum is stuck to the chair and oh, I just got all these excuses and I'm just so tired and bored of myself, yeah? Is that you if you've got excuses in your business or I want to start my business and it's just never ever going to happen and three years later you're still saying the same thing. Well, snap out of it because this is going to help you. So, excuses. These are my top five that I hear a lot within people I'm working with. So number one, it's not what others do. It's not me. It's what I think it's better for that person. Well, what's different from that person to you? They all started in the same place. Number two, I'm not a goal orientated person. What? Drop the mic. You're not a goal orientated person. Everybody has goals, no matter what your goal is, whether it's to have you all think of yourself, have you set a goal at some point in your life? Did you learn to ride a bike? Did you go to school? Did you study hard? Did you pass some exams? Did you pass your driving test? That was a goal. So yes, you're a goal orientated person. Yes, you have two different types of people. One, a bit like me, I love a goal, I work to a goal. I have goals all around my house. I have affirmations. I take goals to another level. Why? Because I want to be super successful. I want to help as many people as possible, have time, freedom, lifestyle, choices, build epic businesses. You might not be like that. That's totally cool. Not everybody's the same, but you are a goal oriented person, even if it is on a small level. That's cool. Even if you want to just grow your hair one year, literally, okay? <laughs> That's a goal, yeah? So, yes, you are a goal oriented person. Got no time got no time and then they say they've watched love island and don't get me wrong i love a bit of love island absolutely love a bit of coronation street as well but you know what have you got time for netflix have you got time look up really what you do in a week and really are them activities going to make a difference in five years probably not but putting aside an hour a day to build your dream business do you think you're going to feel the impact of that in five years one billion percent yes so not now then when it's not the right time, Kate. Oh, I'm not sure. Maybe next year. I've got a lot on. I've got so much on. I was just really stressed at the minute. So much happening. <laughs> and do you know what? You can hear my voice. Oh, my God. Do you know what? The amount of people that come back to me and said, you know what, Katie? I've decided the time is never going to be right. So I'm in. When I started with my, one of my businesses, I was nearly giving birth. Right? Do you think that was the right time? No, but if it was, it was either then or never. So sometimes, yes, I agree. Sometimes if life has generally gone nuts and there is everything throwing at you, then maybe, maybe it's not the right time. But generally 99% of people, it's an excuse. It's, it's a, this isn't a priority for me now. It's not, I haven't got time. Last one. What will they think of me? What will my friends think of me? what my family think of me oh my gosh like what what happens if i put something on social media and nobody likes it oh my gosh what happens if somebody um deletes me on social media what happens if someone like blocks me <gasps> oh my gosh what will they think what will my fan what will my mum what will my sister what will my best friend think if i do this business i'm gonna share with you my probably biggest rejection and this is the network marketing industry as a whole what will they think when i started my network marketing company five years ago i had a lot a lot a lot a lot of people look at me like i had five heads they're like is katie's gym's not going well oh my god what was happening do you know what now i think i'm a flipping genius because do you know what i'm filming this in lockdown and literally everything's online people want things delivered to them people want online businesses people don't work from home Look at what's happening. So if I really listened to people's negative comments back then, I wouldn't be where I am today. So I really don't care. They're not paying your bills. Believe me, they're not going to think about you in a week's time about your business. They're really not. 
So if you really want to do it, plow on. Because they'd have forgotten about you a week later down the line. Love your friends dearly. Absolutely. But they're never always going to see eye to eye on the different things they're doing. What you're doing might not be a great fit for that, for you, for them. That's totally cool. No worries. Yeah, but don't let opinions sink you in because it will really will well, it really will stop your progress and your dreams and really building your dream lifestyle. So happy pocket coaching. Hope you found that awesome. And see you next time. Bye.